Hello. So in the last video, we saw adaptive list style with which we could create this list in both iOS and Android. Now uh, we will go to see a uh, bottom sheet and in uh, iOS style, it's called action sheet. <coughs> what we will have is we will have simply uh, two items. Uh, a list uh, will come from bottom uh, of two items. One will be camera, other will be photos, like you have seen in other applications. On clicking of bottom sheet, it will be material uh, style bottom sheet. And on clicking on Cupertino action sheet, it will be iOS style uh, bottom sheet. So for that, uh, we have to add capability of uh, doing something on click of this list. So for that, what we will do is we'll simply write uh, on item tab here. Uh, I didn't add uh, this functionality in my last video. So I am adding it right now. So let's say uh, we will say open bottom sheet. Okay. Uh, let's leave it as it is right now. What we know, what we now need is having a attribute that can take a function. So for that, we will go to adaptive list style and we'll declare final void callback and it can be nullable. So let's say this here. Fine. Now inside Cupertino list style, we had this. So what we'll do and similarly, we can do it in list style as well. Okay, now it's clickable. Let's assume that it will be handling the clicks. Now we will create a function that will be this. Fine. Uh, it will have a list of items that it needs to show in the bottom sheet. So that items will be, let's say the text on these items will be and then uh, it will also have a icon this is all uh, is custom uh, you need not have it icons but I want to have icons that's why I want to show you how you can use any type of widget so these are my two icons now I will after knowing that these are my items, uh, what I can do is I can call another function where we will write our adaptive code uh, so that based on platform, it will be opening either of the bottom sheets. So we will supply context because we will need context there. Then we will supply the list of items, uh, list of strings and list of icons. Now. We will create another folder here uh, that will be bottom sheet. As you know, uh, I am keeping a separate folder for every type of adaptive widget. That's why it's like this. Context. From where we will know the context. So we will say, uh, let's take context from here and we can easily get context from here. So we'll supply it like this. Now we need this function to be created here open bottom sheet a function open bottom sheet uh, it will have three things as you know uh, the build context and then list of string and list of you can actually uh, create a custom object as well that will wrap uh, string and icon data in it and then you can supply a list of that custom object it's all up to you i want to just explain how you can utilize uh, any uh, data to put into platform specific widgets so let's uh, use that statement to decide whether it is ios or not
okay we don't have to remove this because we will use it later okay i think this is done um uh, now we will make two more functions uh, based on uh, os so first will be open action sheet and other would be open bottom sheet uh, we will be supplying all these three things there so context so so far so good um, let's do material first so we'll say show bottom sheet now this is this is the function coming from your flutter sdk itself now this is not that function which we have created okay so here uh, the builder obviously most of the times builder will take context and then it will return a widget right so now we will write that widget first um, uh, since we need to put these two items in a in a vertical fashion you can anyway change it as well so i will uh, put them in a list sort of thing for that i will have a column because the items will be limited and not um, many so i can uh, use this and then what i will do is items dot uh, map or instead of that because um, we need to actually run a loop for length of items so for that i will do list dot generate and i will say run till items length and then it can return some widget right so first widget will be text button dot icon because i want a text button with a icon then in the on pressed of it i want to just simply uh, pop i can leave it as it is but in future when you want to uh, you perform something on click of these two items then you can add on pressed uh, the icon will be uh, the icon that we have the icon data that we have provided so it will be the index uh, maybe icons here and then list dot generate is going to return us a list so we need to use a spread operator right so that it will be uh, returning the elements uh, of the list not the list itself so this is how uh, our list is created now let's run it uh, which one is this this is samsung phone okay i will just uh, hot reload this one and you know when i click on any of the items as of now any list item if we click on it it will um, try to navigate right oh there is some error okay okay maybe yeah it's not imported okay now i click on this and you see the bottom sheet is here right it has got its own height and complete height and it's ugly right so we need to just modify the way our bottom sheet is created so first thing that we would like to do is let's give this column a size of minimum so main exercise will be main exercise dot min okay and then we also want it to take the complete width on the screen so it has to start from the end right so for that we will have cross axis alignment which we can use as stretch okay okay and when i click on this it will just remove the bottom sheet okay with the animation obviously because this is flutter sdk's widget and let's run it again okay i click on bottom sheet and now it's proper right it's coming from bottom and i click on this it goes down 
I don't know why the animations are too slow here. Maybe it's just the way this phone is behaving right now. But it will work fine for you. Uh, then uh, these elements are coming in the center. So we want to start them from left hand side. So what we can do is we can simply wrap this text button dot icon in a sorry in a widget align and say alignment dot center left and then uh, let's run it and see it ourselves. Okay, I close this, open this again and it started from left. Now obviously we need some padding from left and right. So for that, we will just uh, wrap this column with a padding widget and we'll say take 16 from all the sides. We click on the bottom sheet and now it's very good. So let's do action sheet now. In Cupertino styled widgets from Flutter, we have a sort of bottom sheet like show, uh, like a Cupertino model pop-up, which we can call using this one, uh, show Cupertino model pop-up. Okay. And then we have to, uh, again, same, give the context and then uh, the builder is there, uh, which is just like that, uh, just like above. And then here uh, we have to return something, right? Now, luckily, uh, we don't have to use columns here because Cupertino IS, iOS style widget already is present there, which is Cupertino action sheet. So we can simply use Cupertino action sheet here. Okay. And it's going to handle many things for us. I will uh, explain you what I mean. But for now, let's just format it and now work on this one. So Cupertino action sheet takes actions. Okay. Now we can simply copy this whole thing because it's just like children. Okay. The benefit of this is we actually uh, don't need most of the things from here. So for simplicity, I will just remove it and I want to explain what we should be using here. So Cupertino action sheet action. So this is, uh, you can say it, it's just like list style, which handles the UI element for us, which already has a on pressed element. So for this, we will simply copy this one, right? We have this on uh, and then what we want is because we don't have, uh, you know, um, text button dot icon in Cupertino and we don't want to use material one. We will have to create our own row. Okay. In this children, uh, we will have two elements. One will be again. I can simply copy this. Okay. And then I can copy the text. Okay, and in between I want some space so I can use size box with some width of 16 and should be done. Okay, now I restart the application for iOS. Okay, it has restarted. I click on this action sheet and I think something should happen here. It's hanging, um, it's the app is not responding. Okay, yeah, it responded. So basically, yeah, uh, my, my machine is slow. Uh, please bear with me. I click on action sheet and you see this photos, uh, you see that camera and all these items. So it's just like the action sheet that generally people are used to have. And you saw the difference, right? When it's iOS, it's the action sheet. When it's, when it's Android, it's a bottom sheet. So <clears throat> this is how you will have to uh, use adaptive bottom sheets. So 
This is it for this video and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.